Hello my cylindrical centaurs, it's your boy Zionic Blader and welcome to another worst to best video. In this episode we will be ranking each centaur core from worst to best. We will be ranking them based off their overall stats, their evolutions, and their place in decks. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. Number 5, Pyrus Zentar. This guy starts off with mediocre stats and evolves with a 2 cost evolution with mediocre stats again. It has an underdog effect for double strike, but really it doesn't do much. With that low B power, it's really not going to win a brawl, and double strike isn't going to help win a brawl with Might and Mac. Number 4, Ventus Zentar. It starts off solid with a magic shield, however its evolution is on the higher side, being a 5 cost, with its effect not being too great. It would be better if it boosted its own damage, but instead it reduces your opponents, which can help you play Might and Mac, but it is more consistent for a boost to happen with your own Bakugan since a Shadow Sneak is a huge threat. Number 3, Aurelis Zentar. And this guy is just a vanilla, he isn't anything special. Number 2, Chaos Zentar. Salt stats all around, but its damage is the most eye catching. Since it has an underdog evolution effect, having 12 damage so early in the game is tough to get over. Its magic shield core also keeps it from not falling too behind in terms of B power. Number 1, Darkest Zentar. This guy's damage is crazy, and with a relatively cheap evolution, with Might and Mac, this guy can be a threat. Overall, a lot of these guys have high damage ratings. I'm more of a B power kind of guy myself, so despite having a cool design, I'm not really feeling Zentar. But they aren't as bad as other Bakugan I have ranked in the past. Agree? Disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. Like the video, hit the like button, or don't, I'm not the boss of you. But be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.